Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. It's a Sunday and it is a cloudier day, certainly. Uh, we had a beautiful Saturday with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine from start to finish, but uh, that has now gone away. And we are seeing the next cold front approaching. Winds have gone around to the south, so temperatures are going to be warming up. We've got a rather complex week ahead. It looked fairly simple back a few days ago with the high that was going to build into the north. It would be pretty much an onshore flow, but dry air down at least into the mid-Atlantic states. Not going to be the case, it seems, as we have a uh, coastal low that is going to be tucked in a bit closer to the coast. All the weather models are sort of zeroing in on this. So I think at the very least, it's going to put us in clouds. And it may even put the, the, uh, the coastal areas into some rain and wind. And the Hurricane Center has its hand in this too. They have a 30% chance that this could become a subtropical system. Uh, down the road. So we've got all those things to weigh uh, ahead of us and uh, let's get started. And uh, this morning uh, the uh, winds are all now from the south and they have uh, picked up in some places at about uh, 10 to occasionally 15 miles an hour. Uh, this is enough to boost the temperatures up at least uh, in, to start the day into the 60s and I think we're going to top out in the upper 60s to some low 70s uh, for this afternoon, it uh, it's not going to take too much to get there, uh, but in a couple of places where there might be uh, some breaks of sun, we could push the upper end of this, but you see from northeast Virginia to southern New England, it's pretty much in that range, upper 60s to low 70s. And then Monday, as the cold front approaches, we are going to be uh, in the 70s. In fact, we may be in the mid to upper 70s in the same uh, geographic location, northeast Virginia to southern New England. Now, after that, it's all going to be about low pressure to the south, onshore flow, how much cloud cover. So we will be in the 60s for Tuesday uh, and likely for Wednesday and Thursday. And it's quite possible that as we go along this week, we may have to shade those temperatures down a bit, particularly if we're dealing with the situation of a northeast wind and developing rain. Meanwhile, on the satellite uh, today, uh, you see the clouds that have rolled on in from the west, uh, producing uh, very not producing very much in terms of some rainfall. And you also see the moisture that's off the southeast coast of the United States. There's a bit of an upper low uh, and also uh, looks like a little bit of a surface low there, or at least uh, some indication of some uh, so, sort of a low east of the Bahamas. But uh, this is all going to be drifting westward. It's all going to be part of a developing system off the southeast coast for uh, later on uh, this coming week. And on the radar today, as far as showers are concerned, not a whole lot happening. You see them back here in western Pennsylvania, western New York, and into West Virginia. We may have a couple of scattered blips that show up uh, today. Uh, but for the most part, for the vast majority of you, you won't see anything. And it'll be nothing more than just some cloud issues. So uh, here's our um, look for the, the uh, rest of the today and into this coming week. So we've got high pressure offshore. Here's our southwest wind. And here is our cold front that will come through here for Monday evening. Thinking that there will be some showers moving across Pennsylvania during the, at, during the day on Monday, arriving into southeastern Pennsylvania and northeastward to New York City and to southwestern New England late Monday afternoon and evening. The front goes out and just basically falls apart. High pressure begins to build, and now you start to see this low that forms off the mid-Atlantic coast for Tuesday, and it pins back a little bit of rain in southern New Jersey and into... Uh, down to Chesapeake Bay. Every model's got a different view of this, but they all, at one point or another, bring moisture back to the northwest, certainly for coastal areas. The GFS is even a bit more aggressive inland, but this winds up hanging around all week long, and it's going to have to wait for uh, this storm that you see coming out of the plains late this week. That will eventually get far enough east where it kicks it out. But we could be sitting... And at the very least, we could be sitting with clouds and a northeast wind for several days and with some rain. And it's also quite possible that uh, we could see this uh, uh, along the immediate coast get into some, um, some, some rather gusty winds. Uh, the one thing I would point out uh, is that 
Uh, while you have to start to look at the possibility of some coastal flooding this week with a situation like this, uh, one of the upsides is that we're going to be in between moon, cycle, moon phase cycles. So we're going to be on the low end of the cycle, so that at least helps. It's not like we're going into a full moon here, um, which would be uh, highly problematic uh, with respect to uh, this uh, something like this developing uh, for this week. And uh, lastly, uh, just want to... Uh, show you what the Hurricane Center is doing with this. Uh, they're watching two weather systems. The one that's far out in the middle of the Atlantic, we really don't care about because that actually may wind up getting absorbed by the system that is off, uh, that, that's going to be off the East Coast. But they do mention uh, a 30% chance here that we could see uh, some uh, a subtropical storm development uh, or sub subtropical uh, characteristics uh, later on this coming week. So um, something for us to watch uh, for go, going ahead uh, into this new week. So we will be certainly uh, keeping uh, our head together on this. And we'll have a live stream tonight at 7 o'clock to review what all the daytime models are doing. Otherwise, enjoy your Sunday, and I hope you have a great week ahead. We'll see you a, a bit later on, on, hopefully on tonight's live stream. Otherwise, tomorrow on Weather in 5.